Good morning, Psycho Lock here. Uh, Sunday morning of Project X Redemption, bright and early. Well, I guess it's early afternoon it's now. Afternoon. It's, it's bright and early for a lot of people. They were uh, up all night gaming and hanging out till pretty late, so I'm sure it's still fairly early for a lot of people. That's right. I'm here with one of the organizers, Jonathan, aka Thanatos. Um, Going to be taking us through kind of. Tell us what you do. Well, I uh, actually coordinate between all the sponsors, the venue, a lot of the logistical work leading up to the event. Um, I'm also one of the lead event designers and part of the creative team. So all the swag, I talk to all the sponsors, um, make sure things work out the way we want them to go. And So it's your fault if they don't work out? Well, we have a great team that's equally divided and it's a shared responsibility at the end of the day. Uh, however, I just make sure that everyone at the event is having a great time. So walking around talking to a bunch of people from Winnipeg and Edmonton and BC so it's that's a lot of fun yeah I remember uh, we kind of touched base a year and a bit ago and that's how we got uh, psycho sponsoring project X and uh, it's exciting to see each other kind of help each other grow from the ground up so that's really cool um, describe what project X is and I know we you've been asked this question a, a ton of times but kind of describe what it is and kind of the reason behind it and, and its creation okay uh, so project X is a community-based land party group uh, that was the original intention of it uh, we went around to a lot of the local groups in town banded together to really promote community in the gaming community and because at the end of the day we're ultimately competing with other forms of entertainment and we shouldn't necessarily go one on one against each other because for 30 bucks you know you could do you can spend a night the price of a ticket yeah the price of a ticket you could go somewhere else so obviously we want to make it worthwhile on that end uh, so we actually came up with uh, project X many years ago and just been developing since and we just recognized a lack and we're a little concerned where the direction of land parties were going and so we stepped into the community and offered something a little bit more unique, slightly different, more of a European land party feel to it. Uh, so we're really excited with the results. We sold out every major event so far. We have some amazing sponsors backing us, and we're looking forward to the future. We have some pretty funky stuff that's going to be unveiled soon. Yeah, it's cool to see um, two years consistently being sold out. Uh, the events interdispersed between your large, you know, the large events, Uprising and Redemption. Um, you mentioned kind of a European-based feel. What What is the difference that you saw um, between, say, a North American or, or Asian land and a, a European one? Well, it seems like in North America it's primarily a tournament-based aspect, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's a great system. It works. Whereas over in Europe, like in DreamHack and various others, they have uh, live DJ futures, a lot of fun extras. So the console and PC gaming is an important part. However, it's more of a festival feeling and an overall experience. An overall experience for it. So it's sort of like Project X is kind of like the stampede version of land party groups in Alberta because we do have entertainment, uh, other fun activities going on outside of the standard come down, you play your Counter Strike, and then you leave. And, and I can really attest to that because it is, uh, you know. I know both of us are kind of in the same boat. We, we like games. We're not necessarily that great at them. Um, but uh, we can come here and still enjoy ourselves and not necessarily compete. You can come and do, you can just play just fun pickup tournaments or just hang out and, um, yeah, just hang out with a bunch of gamers. Yeah, we really want to appeal to the casual gamer as well. Uh, however, we have some amazing sponsors with tons of prizes. So, Who are those sponsors? Uh, well, our main sponsor that we are uh, very thankful to have, our main global sponsor is Sapphire Technology and AMD. Uh, they've really stepped up to play. Uh, they're actively involved with us. We talk with them on a regular basis and they're backing us for a lot of our big future events that will be announced later in the year. As well as uh, Memory Express, uh, they stepped in. They're a local computer retailer shop. Uh, the Peregrine Gaming Glove has been phenomenal with us. We're also, also somewhat local? Uh, somewhat local, yeah. Let well, Alberta. Yeah. So it's really nice to deal with the local sponsors. Uh, and Psycho Audio, as you know, they've really stepped up this year. And, you know, even last year, Locke, like, we did a poll and you were the favorite part of the land. Yeah, that was really exciting. Everyone liked talking to me. And I won the majority of the 10 votes that were there. You got it. And that's why you're back here again. So we're happy to 
bring you back once more. Um, I always have a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. And uh, one of the main things that we really implemented in this event and we really thank is Challenge. Uh, Challenge.com, they're a tournament management system that we use. Uh, they have exclusively sponsored Project X for Calgary. So they're really working with us. Uh, we're talking with the developer of it, try and change how tournaments get done to make it easier for other event hosts. So those are the main sponsors we really appreciate. And a lot of the local fun things that we do things out of like Switchbox as well. So Nice, nice. And we're on the, like I mentioned at the start of the video, uh, we're on the third day, Sunday. How are things going thus far from your perspective? They're coming along amazingly well. Uh, last night I was hanging out with a bunch of people and every day I try to talk to someone different and everyone's having a fun time. They really love the casual laid back atmosphere and things are still going through. So it's uh, very successful. We had a lot of people step up and say, I want to volunteer next year. I want to be staff next year. I'm going to come out and bring 10 of my friends next year. So uh, it's only going to get bigger and better from here. So we're really looking forward to it. Awesome. That's great to hear. Uh, what is your personal favorite part of the weekend? Just talking to the fans, walking around. Um, I take a lot of joy out of just working the concession stand, pouring the fountain pop. Because sooner or later, everyone has to come up and say, I want some chips. But in, during that time, I take that moment and say, what do you like? What don't you like? What can we change? And what are you, are you looking for? And I use that information when designing the next event. So there's thousands of hours put into designing a land party of this scale. And uh, naturally, without the fans, we can't host. And we want to appeal to the sponsors as well on that part, too. So. Nice. Um, can you share any feedback you've got? Good, bad? Actually, uh, we were talking to a lot of people from Edmonton, and they said it's probably one of the best lands they've ever attended uh, by far. The, for a $30 ticket, you get three days of solid entertainment, tons of prizes. There, A lot of people are shocked. We're a small land party compared to a lot of the big ones, but we have over $4,000 worth of tangible hardware prizes, which blows them away, where they're used to bigger events that have little prizes. So they're kind of confused with that. Um, but just friendly, that's the one thing we get. Everyone's very friendly. Yeah, definitely atmosphere is one big reason, you know, I like to be here and, and a lot of people are here is, is just everyone's, you know, pretty chill and, you know, things sometimes get heated with, with tournaments, but, you know, it, it, they ha everyone handles it pretty well. Um, for the rest of the day, what is going on for, for Sunday? Well, what we're doing now is we're entering into our quarterfinals and semifinals, well, just the finals of all the tournaments, as well as uh, we got a prize ceremony. We're going to do a special announcement later uh, that's going to really benefit the future of land party organizers in North America and hopefully the world, as well as just kind of closing statement going from there. And then the fun part of uh, seeing who sticks around to help clean up. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Um, and, and the question I'm asking most of the organizers, who does the most work out of the staff? We all have different aspects. Uh, what they say behind closed doors and what they probably said to you might be different answers. But well, what's your real answer behind, close, behind the psycho closed door? Behind closed doors? Well, no, uh, no, we're a unified team and ev we divided everything up. So uh, Chris, our IT guy, he handles everything IT, so without him, obviously, we couldn't be here. James really do, does the pits and a lot of time and energy into the tournaments. Uh, Benjamin take, taking over the operations during the event. And then leading up to the event, um, it's kind of one of those things. I invest a lot of time on my end to talk to sponsors. And uh, we just all come together with these creative ideas and bounce ideas off. But every day, I know I'm thinking land party. I'm thinking what's better, what's next, doing research. So. Uh, but we just have a pretty cool team, and we're looking at developing that. So, Quite the charismatic answer. Um, anyways, uh, thank you again for having us back and, and talking to us. Any, any last words before we uh, check out some of the, the finals for the tournaments? If you are interested in checking out any of our gaming events, go to our website. I'm sh it's on the shirt, projectxland.com. Throw it across here. Throw it across on the bottom on that. Uh, if you're interested in volunteering, have any great ideas, what you want to see in the land party gaming community, uh, we check our feedback forums every day, so we're looking forward to going to that. And thank you, Sapphire Tech AMD, for really backing us with a lot of the features of this event. So thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Jonathan, and we'll catch you guys later on.